Last but not least, we're going to hear from the Drug Free Coalition, and we can't hear from them without talking to Warren Wright. Hi, everybody. I'm Warren Wright, and uh, I'm a proud member of the Queen Anne's County Drug Free Coalition. We've been at this for about 21 years. We have about 150 members, but we still have four original members. Um, our mission is a one-sentence statement that we've used for 20 years, and that is we want to reduce the incidence and the amount of drug, alcohol, and tobacco use by Queen Anne's County youth and young adults. Um, we have um, used that for all of this time. And when we started, our biggest accomplishment was getting the trust of all the public agencies in the county. Uh, we started with the Board of Education and the Sheriff. The Sheriff, by the way, was one of the original members. Uh, we worked with them and with the Health Department. Uh, after that, the Board of Education came in because I worked there. Uh, and as time went on, we found that if we were trustworthy and gave correct information, didn't go there to find flaws, but went there to help, then the other public organizations in the, in the community came in, like emergency services, uh, uh, the defend the Lance and the public and the uh, district attorney's office. All of those public institutions are now part of the DFC. After that, now of course, well, you can't be successful unless you get, of course, Channel 7 on board, but we got them in our pocket. Now, as time went on, we also looked to public, public clubs, civic groups for money and also to help them with their activities. We've done that and they've sponsored many of those things. Um, as a matter of fact, when it comes to money, uh, our last project was quite expensive and our budget was $75,000. Where'd that come from? Well, it came from grants, it came from individuals, it came from um, members of the DFC and community civic organizations. What kind of things are we doing? We're doing, uh, you might remember the Haunted Trap House, you might remember QAC Goes Purple, you might remember the five uh, town hall meetings that we've had, you might remember the basketball player. Uh, who came in, he was $20,000. You might remember Ray Lozano, the great speaker. He was paid for by the Elks Lodge. If you were interested in the DFC, it's real hard. You just send an email to qacdfc at gmail.com. Am I going to call you? No. But you'll be aware then of the kinds of things that we do. And there might be something that you can help us with or we can help you with. Thanks very much. Thank you so much for joining us for the virtual panel. If you need any help, please ask for help. Reach out through any of the avenues that you saw in this video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.